Hello. Uh, so as in the previous tutorial, we have seen that how to install and how to configure the Eclipse uh, in the system. In this tutorial, we will discuss about uh, the different ways to run a Python program. So there are so many ways, but uh, in which uh, few of them I will discuss in this uh, video. Just look at the steps and the ways to run a program. First is uh, by using the Python shell, uh, how to use the shell to execute a code, we'll see. After that, we'll see that how to create a Python script file, external file, in which you can uh, write and save your code and later on you can execute it. And after that, we'll see that how to execute the Python script or Python code by using Eclipse IDE. So let's see uh, first one that is how to use the Python shell. First of all, open the shell of Python. So go to the start menu option and search for the IDLE. Open it. And it will show you this is uh, the window and this is called the Python shell. Uh, I have installed the 3.81. So you can see that the Python version is over here. and um, this is the shell. You can write direct code on the shell and you can execute your uh, code snippets over here. Uh, for example, uh, we have already seen this one uh, in the previous tutorial that how to print and how to store the values. Uh, let's see one more time. So A is equal one, B is equal two. And if you want to calculate the value of A and plus B, and wants to print the value of C like sum of A and B. And after that, the value of sum. So you can see sum of A and B is three. You can write all the codes, all the logics over here. Uh, since we uh, haven't discussed any logical part and uh, the looping part and uh, there are so many things are uh, will be covered in the, the next uh, uh, tutorial. So just understand that how to write the code and how to execute into the Python shell. Another way is to execute the code is uh, create your code into the external file and save it and later on and you can execute the codes. The benefit of uh, using that kind of coding is uh, for example just look at this code a piece of the code and if you want to use this piece of code in the future but uh, this is not possible because you are writing onto the shell and when you will close it then it will vanish so uh, better is to save your code into the external file and after that you can uh, get those code uh, anytime in the future so uh, how to write and how to uh, execute the Python script and how to create this. Just look at these steps and remember this. First one, go to the file menu option and choose new file menu option. And here, just to start writing your code. For example, the variable declaration, for example, name is equal. For example, the name I'm taking Daniel. And age is equal 30. I want to print the value of name and the value of age. So I will write print name comma concatenation we have seen comma name. So it will print name is equal name value. And after that concat age is comma age. So this is your Python script file. Now you need to save this file. So go to the file menu option and click on save, or you can use control S. Save, it will open a dialog box. You can save your file anywhere in your system and just put the name of your file. So I will write the name as first script and save. Since uh, you, we have created our script files and uh, we have written the logics, uh, the statements that we want to execute, 
now go to the run menu option and click on run module or you can uh, press f5 from your keyboard the shortcut to run your script file uh, from this ideally is f5 click on it and it will show you the result so the name is daniel age is 30 and Later on, if you want to make changes into this uh, file, just open it and suppose uh, the name uh, spelling is mistake uh, and uh, some value that you have taken from the user is not according to your requirement. So you can make changes in your, in your logics. So for example, suppose the age is 32. So I will make change into the existing script file. Again, save by control S and run it. Now you can see that this is the code and this way that we can execute our python code so this is uh, one way another way is by using eclipse id so uh, in the previous tutorial we have seen that how to configure and how to uh, make your eclipse id to work with the python so open your eclipse and first of all create a new project into this so file menu option create a new file then go to the new and from here select pydev project if you didn't uh, if you don't get the pydev project from here then go to the others and from here select pydev and here you will see that pydev project click on the next it will ask that what is the name of your project you want to put so you can write any name as per your convenience so i will write this is our uh, first project so i i will write first project click on the next and finish when you will uh, finish it it will be available in your project explorer window so here you can see this is your project explorer window click on it and here you can find your project so this is my project that is first project look at here and in which you will find one folder already created that is src src is the folder where you will put your all python script files okay so since we have created only the project now i'm going to create one python script so right click on it the src folder and go to the new and choose pydev module okay this option you will select pydev module and put uh, leave it blank the package uh, i will discuss what is package and how to create it what is the benefit of creating the package so leave it blank uh, create your python file so i will create with the name of uh, for example a script and finish and again uh, you will see that one dialog box is prompted so just empty a script file here you can write all your logics name is equal for example daniel and if you want to print the benefit of using this is uh, it will give you some suggestion code complete uh, completion automatic so it is very helpful uh, just print the name and right click on this file and choose run as and then select python run so here is your console where you will get the output of your files uh, output your your uh, script file that you have created the logic that you will write over here it will show you the output onto the console so you can write all the logics uh, on the eclipse so this is the way that we use the eclipse uh, to write and execute our code so i hope uh, this is clear so by using eclipse we have seen that so we have seen uh, all the things that how to execute the code by using python shell by creating the script file into this ideally and by using the Eclipse ID. So thank you uh, for watching this video. Uh, please subscribe my channel and uh, 
so that you can get the notification of the latest videos. Thank you. Bye-bye.